What's up folks, Commander Soul here, and welcome to Ariador Rising, a submod for Divide and Conquer version 4 that is being developed by myself, Reaper, Matt, Pandora, and Bill Baraka. This is the announcement for the mod, uh, which is not out yet, as Divide and Conquer version 4 has not yet been released. Uh, but this is just going to serve as a what-you-can-expect video, as we look upon an Imladris army. Yes, there's a couple of Silver Surfers over there, I just haven't got round to adding the... Uh, the MDB entries for those units yet. Basically, this mod revolves around, as the name suggests, Ariador. Any and every and anything you can think of in Ariador we will eventually get round to overhauling. For the first release, which will probably be a few weeks after Divide and Conquer version 4 releases, uh, there shall be several major things. Firstly, uh, an Imladris script. I'm not going to reveal any details now, but an Imladris script. A script for the Northern Dunedain. An overhaul of the Bree script, an Angmar script, yes this is very script heavy, and several new units, one of which is on the field now. I'm not going to show you their name, but you should be able to get a little bit of a grasp for it from this book here. Okay, that's enough. Uh, let's just get this battle underway properly. Here, the um, Ladris army, which is under the control of the AI, is going to face off against a large, and quite good actually, uh, goblin army, for our enjoyment as I go over some of the interesting changes that we are bringing in. Ah, the AI is actually using pikes properly for once. That's good. Right, so. First and foremost, there are several new units being added, and several units that are already in the game are being changed. Firstly, the um, Rudau Savages are being removed and replaced with a Spear and Javelin unit. Secondly, there is a new unit which you saw over here. I'm not telling anything about that unit yet. There will be more units added as we go into V4, so we know what is coming from there. The scripts, uh, well, the Northern Dunedain have a script already in the game, coded by myself. Which is uh, basically just revolving around a lot of Angmar. <laughs> yes. Speaking of Angmar, their script is a choice script, where you choose which ally to stand with more firmly. Those of... oh dear, they're getting the uh, special units slaughtered by goblin halberds. No, nope, just goblin infantry, but it will do the trick. They're just... just dying so easily. It's depressing how pathetically the AI is handling them. Oh well. Anyway. I'm just going to go to a slightly more distant view, so we don't get the sounds as I talk. Basically, the Angmar script. Uh, where was I? It's to do with which ally you stand more firmly with. Gundabad, or the peoples of your faction leader, Agandaur. The Black Numenorians. Uh, they're charging the pikes. That's never a good sign. Uh, both sides will give you some things. Some very good things. Uh, a general for each side. And a small army. Um, and there is a script or some form of overhaul planned for every single faction in Ariador. And after we've done all of those, we'll think about expanding the area a bit more. So, when I speak of us, I mean the team. I am the only person currently scripting for the team. Reaper, Bill Baraka, and Pandora are modelers. They're creating the new units. Uh, where has it gone? 
the uh, cavalry unit that you saw charge itself to death, almost, this one here, was made by Pandora for me. Including the horse, also made by Pandora. None of Reaper's units are in this battle because we are showcasing either of the factions that he's worked on so far. And Bill Baraka is just really the uh, Wildman guy, I guess. Matt is going to be doing some event writing and such for us when he has the time, which will be soon. Uh, let's just see how things are going. 9% of the uh, elf army, Elven army killed to 40% almost of the goblins. That's pretty good going for the AI. Even if these units are vastly more elite than these ones. But yes, so I shall keep you all posted on the changes being made. And after we've released the first version, I will start doing a series of developer diaries for the mod. I do hope you are all looking forward to seeing where this goes. I'm most certainly looking forward to taking it there. There's some Sindar archers firing and being beaten. They're actually, they're, their morale is actually becoming shaken by the uh, archers over here. You haven't got terrible accuracy for orcs. But anyway, I think that is enough for now. So, see you all in the next developer diary, which will be some point in the future. Commander Soul, over Only and out.